All right, we are going to the Marine Corps Exchange and a few other stops along the way. So I thought I would show you what's in the Marine Exchange. I know a lot of you viewers have never had the privilege of shopping on a military base. So the exchange is basically where we get everything but food. For me, they do have a lot of high-end stuff, but they also have great sales. They have so many different things. A lot of quality. High-end merchandise. Cute little purses. And what do we have here? A real working dog. Aw, what an adorable face. I was pleased to see that they had a lot of my mini appliances here and a very big sale going on. So I might go back on Monday, particularly for this one, because I don't have a hand mixer. I have always loved these glasses. They have a lot of games. Ah, isn't that sweet? A lot of gym stuff. Us military, we like to keep in shape. And a ton of camping products. They really do have a great selection on outdoors equipment. And yes, I took everything out of the boxes and had to play with it. You will notice nothing is behind bars. At Walmart, they have to lock all this expensive stuff up, but not at the base exchange. Why? <laughs> because the military popo will put you in the military jail, and that is not a fun place to be at. I am always amazed. Electronics you can walk up to. Ooh, pretty little sandals. They had a great selection of both men's and women's shoes. That reminds me, I need a good pair of hiking boots. All right, I'm done here and I'm hungry, so I'm going to walk over to Panda Express. I got a bowl for about $9. All right, doesn't that look delicious? Thank you, Panda Express. All right, so... Okay, that place is messed up. Why? Because there's only three restaurants there. We have Subway, uh-uh, L, L Hawaiian Barbecue. I might have eaten there, but it was real busy, and I got Panda Express. They were short-staffed and everything. Um, they didn't have the broccoli veggie mixture, so they filled everything up. Oh my gosh, we got leakage. Thank God I'm on my tray. And uh, I had to wait like 10 minutes for the broccoli to be done. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, I, I am impressed. I don't know if that's oil on there, but uh, it tastes good. And uh, I'm going to eat some of it and put it away. Let me tell you, I got the Kung Pao chicken because uh, they had nothing. You know, they were out of everything. So let's try it. And then I'm going to watch a movie. Yay. Wait a minute. That one wasn't Kung pao -y enough. That one was a little boring. I want something with some sauce on it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not going to eat these. Nope. I'd kill myself. So I'll probably eat half and put the other half away. And now I'm going to watch my little series before we go to the commissary. Uh, and uh, what am I watching? I'm watching Roswell. Uh, it's a pretty good goofy series. Goofy is the word for it. I'm enjoying it. Not enjoying some of the storyline, but uh, nothing's perfect. All right, see you at the commissary. All right, we are at the commissary, and I'm going to show you prices, but there is a 5% surcharge for construction. These commissaries don't build themselves. Yes, please, to the Latin mango con chili roll. That looks pretty good, and I'm glad I ate before shopping. So they do have a circular. And I'd like to say, you can go online if you want, but they have it here, and they actually have real coupons. I don't have to clip online, and they put the uh, coupons out for you. See what I mean? It makes saving so easy. I am so tired of the grocery stores wanting to do everything digitally online. 
which wouldn't be so bad, but then they update everything. Look how fresh that produce is. So I'm just going to talk as you see what shopping is like on the commissary. But yeah, it gets a little frustrating with constant updates, changing passwords, etc. Oh, I picked up some Cholula sauce. That looked good. And the Worcestershire sauce. Excellent buy. Cheaper than the dollar and the quarter tree. I picked up the strawberry cheesecake one so we could do an experiment. Commissaries are huge and usually they have food from all around the world. Why? Because the military comes from all around the world. That was a great price, $1.69, $2.50 over at Daiso. So yeah, time for me to stock up and save and I love the coupons there. I never had shrimp bouillons, but since it's shrimp, shrimp and more shrimp weekend, yeah, and I picked up bamboo shoots. The hazelnut coffee is delicious. And look how much cheaper it is than the dollar and a quarter tree. At the end, I'll show you an itty bitty bag for a dollar and a quarter. I picked up some pretzels too while I was here. The snacks over at the Dollar Tree are getting to be so tiny. These actually fit on my mini noodle cooker. Cool. And why do chicken wings cost way more than drumsticks? I have no idea. I hope you enjoyed our trip through the commissary and boy, I'm hungry again. Okie dokie, we did it. We are done at the commissary. Uh, this took this whole area about three hours. So next to Daiso, yay. How much did you spend at the commissary, Terry? A hundred dollars, yeah. But eggs were down, all the prices were down, so I'm happy, yay. They just park these planes anywhere they want to, which always makes it a fun drive. Okie dokie, and remember, most things at Daiso cost $1.75, but that costs two fifty. This is a small car steering table, and these hook onto the back of your seats. Most of these products come up on their online store if you just type in the American words, like that says foldable coffee dripper, so it just comes up. And this is what the product actually looks like. See, underneath it says foldable coffee dripper. Oh, we're at in and out Let's see, can I afford some french fries? Yup, I'm halfway done my day. I can have some french fries. And look at the price, what is that? Two and a quarter, darn good price. And it is right across from the Daiso store. Okie dokie, almost halfway through the day, I got my little steering wheel tray and they sold nice ones over there at Daiso, smaller ones than this, I'm not sure if it'll fit. So I walked half my steps today. That means I can have my fries. in and out burger, love it. Ketchup, Cholula sauce, two and a quarter for the fries. Oh, so good. Ooh, an extra salt packet, don't, don't need the extra salt. For those of you that have never seen in and out okay, McDonald's has a small fry. Oh my gosh, they're going all over the place two and a quarter. I'm only going to eat half of them. Not going to eat that. And for a vegetable, what do we have for a vegetable? Pickle thingies, whatever they are. All right, bon appetit. I'm going to relax. I got a few more stops to do and uh, then head home to the girls. Most important thing here, what I have, a mixing cup to put my ketchup and Cholula sauce. Yep, it's going to be a good one. So why am I doing this? I stepped on two scales this morning and remember how sick I was? I've uh, lost over five pounds. So it's operation gain a little bit weight back, okay? So that's why uh, the bad food lately. Normally I don't do this all the time. Uh, so there's not gonna be a lot of ketchup. A ketchup makes it just thicker. There's gonna be a lot of Cholula sauce, but I like uh, fries with malt vinegar, uh, ranch dressing that's bad but like I said I'm uh since I got sick I'm down five pounds Ooh, Cholula sauce so yeah all right I hope you're having a great afternoon because uh I am Daiso I found what I wanted I got in line and right as she's ringing me up uh there uh she finished ringing me up and their cash registers went down so I made it with my uh pot lid 
I'll, I'll show you when we get home. All right, I'm sorry my big head is in your way. The reason why it is is because I'm trying to uh, charge up my phone. Anyhow, I only ate half the french fries, so that was like 200 calories, but that's going to hold me off to dinner. It's 4 o'clock now. Probably not going to get home till 7 o'clock. If anything, over at uh, the commissary in a little plastic box, they had like a uh, chicken wing and a thigh, two of them for like $2.50. So I'll have that as my protein for uh, later. Uh, yeah, all right. Now I'm going to back up and go uh, shopping. But I feel good. Uh, yeah, that was nice. But I'm in the uh, more of an Asian area. We had the Daiso. We have H Mart. Uh, down the street, we have Jollibee. We have a lot of uh, boba teas, uh, sushi, lots of uh, interesting little restaurants. But uh, this is a nice place. So one of my wonderful viewers asked, where do I get all my uh, fancy glasses? And yes, I have that pair. I get these at the Dollar Tree. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of really cute ones. I like that. It's like the hats on the glasses. Congrats. A lot of uh, graduation stuff happening now. I like that one too. And here comes the goldfish in an itty bitty bag. Bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed our drive around MCAS Miramar in beautiful San Diego.